Salut, David Roman here. In today's lick, I'm going to show you a sequence, a minor pentatonic sequence in D minor pentatonic, and it's a way to organize the notes in a non-conventional way. So your sequence is going to sound a little bit more interesting than the regular minor pentatonic sequence. Let's hear how that sounds and then I'll break it down. This sequence is based on a descending minor pentatonic scale, the first position, but you can apply this on any other positions. It's a 16th note sequence, so four notes, and then we're gonna repeat the logic behind these four notes on a different string each time until we reach the root of our scale, which is D. If we look at the first position of a D minor pentatonic scale, we have two notes per string. I can consider a left note from my perspective and a right note from my perspective. I'm going to start on the left note of the first string, followed by the left note of the second string, followed by the right note of the third string, and the right note of the second string. Those are the first four sixteenth notes of our sequence, and then we'll repeat that logical idea starting on the second string, then on the third string, the fourth, and so forth. Left note from my perspective of the second string, left note of the third string, right note of the fourth string, right note of the third string. And then we'll repeat the same idea from the third string. fourth string and we can finish on the root which is D on the sixth string tenth fret. Just remember to respect the notes that are found in your shape. Here's that sequence all together. Hope you enjoyed this idea and that you apply it to your own musical vocabulary. Taking a lick is not just reproducing the lick but expanding on the concept of the lick and applying it to anything you're working on. This could be different keys, different shapes, different positions. Just be creative and, and go further with this lick. Let's hear how that sounds in context. I'll see you next time.